Welcome to Mac Jacko. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start a fire in this cute mini wood stove. So on this particular stove, we have two air vents. We have our primary one and our secondary. The primary one is in the open position right now. So this is closed. And then we're gonna open it back up. To start the fire, we want it in the open position. And then we have our secondary, which will be used once the fire is hot. And so it's closed right now. This is open. And we're gonna keep it closed to start the fire. And we're gonna build the fire little by little. With these small stoves, it's actually a bit of a challenge because it's easy for things to collapse on themselves. So what Jackie's doing right now is she's actually building a little bit of a base. We wanna keep airflow, so she's making sure that if everything collapses, it doesn't go flat to the ground. So Jackie's torn off a little piece of toilet paper roll and we're gonna prepare that, but first we're gonna put some newspaper in there. If you have a fire starter, you can obviously use something like that. So we're just gonna use a couple small pieces of newspaper and crunch them up and put them in the middle. So Jackie's got a couple pieces there and she's gonna put her little piece of toilet paper roll right on top of that. And then we've got a bunch of just little pieces of kindling. We're just gonna stack them up somewhat in a pyramid shape. And again, we've got that little base that she put in there at the beginning. So when the pyramid collapses, it doesn't go flat to the ground and put out the fire. We've just got a window cracked to get us airflow. So now that the fire is ready, we're just gonna light the newspaper on and we're gonna keep the door all the way open. The way a wood burning stove works is the chimney or the flue pipe has to be warm to create a draft to make the heat go up and out of it. So while it's still cold, it doesn't actually draw the heat out. So we're keeping the door all the way open to make sure that there's enough oxygen and airflow to keep things started. As you can see, it's trying to collapse on itself. Oh, there we go. Nice work, Jackie, keeping it alive. And so now we're starting to create enough heat that we can actually close the door a little ways. We're not gonna close it all the way. We'll leave a inch or two open and watch to see if the flame starts to draft up a little bit. As you can see, it's doing fine. If it starts to kill itself, then you would open it back up, but we're starting to get a little bit of heat and we're creating a little bit of a draft. That's what we're looking for. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just try to close the door and we're actually gonna watch the fire. If it muffles itself out, we're gonna open it back up. Now the fire is hot, the door is closed, we've got the vent all the way open, and that's how you start your fire. Now that it's starting, the flue pipe is hot, you've got a nice draft, now we can add our bigger and bigger pieces of wood and eventually start to close down the air vent as needed to get the efficiency where you want it. And after about 20 or 30 minutes when the fire is really warm, then you can open your second air vent. I honestly don't know how much good that does on a little stove like this, but it's there, so use it if you want to. If you haven't already, subscribe.